Hey everyone, this is Francie with Finding Joy through serving. So we came to the beach tonight to watch the sunset again. And I think one thing about the beach is it's hard to find solitude at the beach. I'm going to have to find a time where it's not so busy. Of course it's busy now because it's Sunday, Sunday night. And so the weekends are of course busy, but that's my only time to come at night because I work. So, but anyway, there is the ocean. Actually, it's the golf, I think. So, oh, I think I could do this every day. But I've got some exciting things to share with y'all. Um, so yeah, just my thoughts about some things. And I changed the name of my YouTube channel, if you didn't notice. So anyway, let's go for a little walk and talk. So there's the sun getting ready to set. It's just an amazing sight, no matter, no matter how many times you see it. No matter if you see it, it's going into the ocean or going into mountains. It just doesn't matter. It's an amazing view. So first thing I wanted to talk about, I changed the name of my channel to Finding Joy. and. If any of you are new, it was Finding Joy Through Serving, but I changed it, and because, you know, as things evolve and you learn, well, not necessarily learn, but, well, you, you're always learning, we're always learning, and things evolve, um, we do find joy through serving, and I believe that's very important, not, I'm not saying that's not important at all, but... There's so many other ways to find joy. And the way the world is today, I think we need to remember all the different ways that we can find joy. So I'd like us to be a community of people that look for joy in everything. We look for the joy in anything and everything we can find every day. And so I've, um, since I'm not teaching, and I have my job with Amazon. I'm not as stressed out, I will tell you that. So not as stressed out, and so it's like I have more time to think about things, or, I know this is kind of bumpy when I walk on the sand, <laughs> but more times to think about things, and I guess meditate. So I bought a couple of books, because that's, that's what I do, I research and I read, and I forget what, one is about living intentionally, and um, of course it talks a lot about meditating and stuff like that, and for me, of course, there's always going to be the spirituality of it. For me, there's going to be God, and so I will always talk about Him. And he's going to be the one, so you know, this pelican up here, he's going to be the one that brings me joy. And, but there are a lot of other things that I can do and be more intentional in my life to help that and to not focus on negative things and to be intentional every single day when I wake up. You know, just start the morning talking to God and... You know, I am going to even start coming to the beach in the mornings and see if that's a better time where there's not as many people. I don't know. I'm just going to um, see where it leads me. I don't think my daughter likes to come to the beach as much, but I don't know. I think she thinks if I'm going to the beach, she needs to come and stuff, and I don't want her to feel bad. So, um but she sleeps in in the morning, so I may try that this week, just go um, in the morning. I do stay up late because of my job. You know, I'm not going to bed till 2 o'clock, so my morning is not going to be like at 6. So, but maybe try to come around 9 and see how it is. And just to give me more time to be with God and to journal. I'd like to come and journal a little bit while I'm sitting here listening to the waves because it's very peaceful. Um, I don't like so many people being around, but, you know, I can't get rid of people, so 
that's just how it is. Let's turn around and watch the sunset a little bit. So there is the sun. I love when it goes down into the clouds because it gives more color. So I bought this book about being more intentional. And I bought another one. It's 100 Days of Promises in the Bible. And so each day talks about a different promise from God, which I think it's going to be wonderful to be reminded of those. And yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you all, today's my birthday. I am 54 today. So to me, you know, there's New Year's resolutions, but to me it's about um, I'm starting a new year today. And so I want to be more intentional in just how I live my life and finding joy. What, what can I do to find joy and peace? Peace as well. So that's what I'm going to be working on always. Serving others, finding joy in nature, obviously, because I've been posting a lot of nature and I love it. Love it, love it. I love to watch the birds. It's just so cool to come and watch all of this stuff. And just to journal more. I have been journaling more. I bought a journal the other day and some stickers and all that, you know, kind of stuff. So I'm journaling more and I think that helps a lot as well. Doing things that I normally wouldn't do because of my weight and everything. So I went kayaking yesterday, which was amazing. Amazing. We'll do that again. And then I ordered something, kind of a birthday present to me, besides all this other stuff I've been buying, these books. Um, I ordered a juicer. I've had a juicer before, and I got rid of it when I was downsizing. Because, you know, my idea to downsize and live um, as a minimalist. But I do know the benefits of juicing. And so I need to get back into that. I need to get healthier and um, get my inflammation down, help my arthritis and all that stuff. And I know if I juice and am consistent with it, I know it's going to help me. Isn't this amazing sunset? I hope you all enjoy watching this. I'm not talking too much. But I just want to say a few things. One, I changed the name of my channel to Finding Joy. So I want you all to share what do you do to find joy? What do you do? And we need this today. We need ways to find joy and focus on the positive. So share in the comments below about how you find joy. And let's help each other, encourage each other. This area had a lot of shells. So of course the first thing I did was look for shells. They're just all over. Of course I do end up getting a lot of the same ones. But one of these days I'll find something different. And it was pretty shallow here. We walked out a little bit. I think my daughter and I are getting braver about walking into the ocean.
right, now that I'm home, I want to finish out this video and just kind of show you the things I was talking about in the video. I found this journal at Barnes & Noble. We went there today because um, why not? It was my birthday and yeah. So it was only $3, so it makes it very tempting. But it said today beach, tomorrow beach, forever beach. And um, yeah, it's got shells on it. And it's just a journal, which I don't need. <laughs> but um, it may be something that I end up taking to the beach and writing some thoughts. Because while I was walking on the beach tonight and while I was there, I had a lot of thoughts going about solitude and not really being able to find it on the beach. And anyway, just a lot of thoughts were going through my mind and I, could, I didn't write it down. So, And then this was the, another book I was telling you about. It says, A Hundred Days of Bible Promises, a devotional journal. So um, basically, just for like a hundred days, which is a lot. It um, has day one, and then His grace is sufficient. Some passages about that. And then a little space to journal your thoughts, and then it ends with a prayer. And of course, you can say your own prayer. You don't need to read it. But um, I just like this because it has the promises of God. And so, anyway, I may share some of those with you as I go through it. And, yeah, so we got that. I know that's going to bring me some joy. And then the other book that I was telling you about was this book, How to Live with Intention. 150 Simple Ways to Live Each Day with Meaning and Purpose from the time that we get up to the time we go to bed. And... Um, now, I won't say that I agree with everything that these types of books would talk about, but they do give you good ideas, okay? And that's, such, I mean, just like when you get up, what do you do when you wake up? Just roll out of bed and, you know, get your cup of coffee and stuff like that. So I'm going to, uh, as with any book, um, you take what you want to get out of it and then you leave the rest and that's with any book you're not going to agree with everything um, intentions for a more prosperous you yes that would be wonderful and so anyway I'm going to enjoy flipping through this book and um, hopefully helping me learn to live more and with life with more intention and then I found this Florida shoreline life and of course there's a manatee, but um, it also has fish, um, plant life. And I think the main reason I got it was for, well, it has shells. So see, like there's some of the shells I found tonight. Yeah, I wanna find those purple shells, but I find a lot of the shells that are definitely in these packets and there's some more. But I think it has birds in here. It's hard to open it up with one hand. Because, yeah, there's the birds. I thought so. So the different types of birds that I might run into on the beach. So then I will be able to tell what they are. I've seen a lot of this one right here. All right, so this is gonna help me identify things. So excited about that. And then I got this journal, I don't know when, but Never Stop Exploring, Adventure Awaits. So that called to me and I actually started writing in it and I got some washi tape so I can have stickers and stuff. Use different colors to kind of make it more interesting. I need to write about my kayaking trip yesterday and today, my birthday, and just some thoughts about that. So at least I've started. And sometimes I'm good at journaling and sometimes not so much. And then I found this book, Florida Seashells. So this is going to help me identify all these shells that I'm finding. You know, I just never get tired of looking for them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm like forever going to be looking for these shells. But this also tells me where in Florida they are. So um, 
you know, if I want to find a certain shell and I know that it's not on this side of Florida, then I'm never going to find it. So don't look for it. But there's just something about looking for shells. I don't know. I would love to find some of these. That would be really cool. I'd like to find some of those. Um, so this is going to be neat. We have found some like this. My daughter just found one tonight similar to those. Like that one over there, that white one. So anyway, this will help me identify my shells. And I found a couple shells when we went kayaking the other day too, when we got out on the sand beach. And I'm also trying to read more, okay? Um, I'm not a big reader at all, but a friend of mine recommended The Soul of an Octopus. And so I've been reading this and um, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm learning a lot about um, the octopus and um, pretty interesting. And then my daughter and I are reading this book, Circe. Now Circe is a god, goddess, I guess is what you would call her. And she is actually the daughter of Hermes, the god of the sun, I think. I don't know. I don't know all about this stuff. But she had to read this for college. It was a summer reading. She has to have it finished before she goes. So I bought us each a copy and we are actually listening to it through Audible. So that is really cool. So anyway, I just wanted to show you those some things. I don't, don't want this video to end up being too long. And one of my videos, I'm going to start talking about my juicing journey. And if you haven't seen this man, Joe Cross, um, the documentary is Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And you can probably find it on YouTube or somewhere and watch it for free. But um, I've followed him for a while and I juiced, I used to juice and I get out of juicing and I get back into it. I just go back and forth. But that will be another one of my journeys. So stay tuned. Y'all find joy and please comment below where you find it and how you find it and what do you do to keep it in your life. Thank you for watching.